Hey guys, this is Malcolm. I'm a mobile developer at Clearblade, and this is my blog, Class Act Creations. And today I'm going to give you a tutorial on IBM Worklight. IBM Worklight is basically an, a development environment where you can create rich, hybrid mobile apps using HTML5. It's very easy, it's very quick, and very convenient to deploy to several devices quite easily without having to maintain several complex code bases. So without further ado, let's dive in. You'll notice I'm using a Mountain Lion on a Mac, uh, MacBook Air. I'm a Windows person, but I decided to get into the Mac side so I can do iPhone uh, where I can use Xcode. So I got the ADT bundle for Mac from the Android developer website. And the reason I got the ADT bundle from the developer website for Android is because it comes pre-configured with the Android SDK. You'll notice that this is just a version of Juno, so nothing special. You can use whatever Eclipse version you like, or alternatively, you can use the IBM Worklight Studio. And I'll include those download links uh, in the video description. So uh, let's let it load here. Uh, if you have not set up IBM Worklight or IBM Worklight Studio or the plugin, I'll also include a link to a video and some resources on how to get that done in the description of the video. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. It's really quite easy. You just come here and create a Worklight artifact. And you're going to click Hybrid Application. And we're going to create our Hello World project. Hybrid application next. And you'll notice that we can include some jQuery, Essentia, and Dojo uh, libraries to make our app more fancy. But we're going to stick to the basics for this video. We'll cover those in a later lesson. So, Hello World app. And click finish. So we got our Hello World project, and it automatically opens this application descriptor file, uh, which basically details some different information about our app, the name, the author, the website, the dimensions. You can tell already this is a phone dimension, 460 by 320. It's like a screen size. Uh, it also gives you the Worklight server root URL. Uh, this Worklight server comes pre-configured right out the box. It's going to run on the local host, which is just, just port 8080. So you want to make sure you have that clear oil cost problems later on when we're trying to deploy the app and test it. Uh, and we'll get more into that part. So for now, let's just close this and dive right into the application structure. And for this video, we're going to be focused on the app itself. So let's go into our app, Hello World, and look at the directory structure. Like I said, this is HTML5, so you're going to have your CSS. This is basic CSS generated for us. Uh, we just have this, uh, this container uh, right here already created for us. Uh, nothing, nothing cool here to see. Uh, we have some images here, our launcher icon that will show up on the home screen when we're ready to launch the app, and some JavaScript. All the JavaScript here is... Uh, pre-made once we built the, the project. We have this double WL common init, which I kind of see as a initialization method, kind of like the onCreate method for Android. Uh, we don't need this right now. Uh, I just want you to get familiar with the, the structure before we get into editing the app. Now, basically, our app is pretty much done. I mean, it's just this hello world HTML file. Uh, Right now, it's kind of showing you, I mean, default, it comes out in this split view. You know, anything we edit down here in the app, and I'll just change this just for kicks. Clear blade rocks. Um, it shows this split view, and you'll see anytime you edit something here, it shows up in the split view here. And if we wanted to, we can edit all just, just source. Just edit the source like that without seeing it. 
or we can edit strictly in design view where, where we can kind of come in here and just you know drag and drop stuff uh, into our you know our iPhone view right we can just come in here and drag a button and and slap that in there but we're not going to do that right now um you know what? yeah let's just leave that we'll just we just leave our submit button in there. It doesn't do anything. Let's just leave it. Uh, so I'm going to go back to the split view. So we have our app here. Uh, we made really some minimal changes. I just want to show you how, how easy it was to kind of look at your code when, when, when you're creating it. It makes debugging a lot easier when you can see what happens as you do it without having to build it each time. <coughs> So let's save this and let's go over here and basically start up our work like server. I mean, basically our app is, you know, basically a hybrid web app. So we have to have some sample, some, some, some type of server to run it on. So we're going to start our work like server. And like I told you before, this is running on port 8080. So you want to make sure this is clear. If not, you'll get some red text in here saying, Hey, Port 8080 is in use, work like server can't be started. And where you'll know definitely you need to go in and clear off this port so work like server can use it. Now let's test to make sure our work like server was started correctly. We can go here and type in localhost 8080 console. And if this shows up with our app name, we're good. If it doesn't, we know that we uh, we get the 404 cannot be found. That means that our console and our work like server just is not started correctly. So you might need to go back through the steps and basically make sure this port is clear. So um, next step, like I said, we want to do iPhone and Android. Typically because these are the most popular devices out right now. Uh, so I want to show how we can emulate on those devices quite quickly. So you want to get on your project here and go up and click work light environment. You'll see we have two little devices here, which kind of gives you a clue what we can do here. We're going to do just iPhone and Android right now. And the reason why we're going to just do these, because to emulate on the Windows 7 and the Windows 8 and the Blackberry, it requires some extra steps. Uh, you know, basically setting up some virtualization software like VMware. Well, we can run these type of OSs uh, in the virtual box. That way we could see how they would act. These are, you know, the popular ones and we could kind of get these up and going fast. So uh, we're going to go with these for now. Now you'll notice once we do that, along with our common, we now have two new directories. We got iPhone, uh, which kind of has a native iPhone project right here for us. Uh, it's all built out for us and a native Android uh, project here built for us. Now, this is all just native code. I mean, Worklight basically translated it to run uh, natively. So, I mean, we just made two full apps uh, with the click of a button. <clears throat> so, let's basically see how these look. Uh, so, we're going to come here and we're going to build our project, we're going to build our app once again now that we have these two new devices. So we build that. And one thing I like to do, I like to go in and just build these individually. You probably don't have to do this, but I do it just to make sure everything's running uh, perfectly. And also, for the sake of the video, we don't need any hiccups, right? So let's. Um, as this builds, the next step, we're going to basically run these native projects on the emulators that come with their SDKs. iPhone is basically built on Xcode, which is the reason why I'm actually using uh, the macOS so I can actually see how this works. So we'll just right click on the iPhone project and run as an Xcode project. It's going to automatically launch Xcode for us. It's going to load our Xcode project in here. And now we'll be able to use the Xcode tool to simulate this 
uh, on an iPhone. I didn't know there was an iPhone 6, but let's just do iPhone 6. <laughs> so um, now we can just click Run. And it's going to basically, as you can see, Bill succeeded. We didn't expect any errors because Worklight is just that good. Uh, so it's going to start up our, our, our little emulator iPhone. Ah, there we go. So we got it. Uh, you'll see this button does, it doesn't do anything, but let's go back to see how it created the, the app icon that we can click on. And boom, we got our clear blade. Uh, Hello World app on the iPhone emulator. So that's iPhone. We're, we're done with iPhone. Let's just quit that and let's quit Xcode. Now let's now let's do Android. Uh, and you'll basically now this is a bit different. You can't go click on the the actual app that's in the app directory under Hello World app. You have to go down to this new project that was created automatically. It basically creates a whole new Android project. Here and you have to simulate that one. So you'll run, you'll right click on that one and run applica Android application. Now the Android emulator takes a bit longer to start up. So uh, you'll see it's launching and it's going to take a little bit of time to launch. So I'll probably just pause the video and restart it once this thing's up. I'm using the Galaxy Nexus emulator. That's just the name. If you don't know how to create an AVD, which is this emulator, uh, leave me a comment and I'll I'll create a new video showing you how to get a device emulator up and running. And like I said, this device emulator for Android is a bit slow when starting up. Uh, so you have to give this a little time. So our Android emulator is finally up. So let's unlock this guy. So let's take a look at the app. Oh, there we go. Hello World app. That's our app. Oh, so I clicked it. And now we're going to open our app. We'll see we have the launch icon. Um, and the app's going to load up. And it should look just like our iPhone app. The hello, uh, the clear blade rocked and the button. And it does. So we just deployed to Android and the iPhone. Hopefully in less than 15 minutes. But let's clear this. Now let's take a look at our console one more time. It looks a bit different. Uh, so now our console has our iPhone app and our Android app, which is pretty cool. Uh, we could actually come here and say, you know what, we want to make some updates for iPhone. We're going to disable iPhone so that, you know, users can't use this app anymore. Or uh, we can also come here and say, hey, we want to do some push notifications and send some notifications to the apps, some updates. So uh, this console is really nice. Uh, you can also come here and preview the iPhone app here and you can also come and preview the Android app so uh, all pretty nice and uh, I think I did it in less than 15 minutes let's check with the judges on our time but thank you for visiting classactcreations.com uh, I hope to have more videos soon alright